Howdy folks, I am Ruskio, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last one, we finished Investigation for Chapter 5, the murder, or at the very least, the death of Nagito. Um, in between episodes, I grinded out uh, walking the little virtual pet, just so I could get the just so I could get this last one since apparent since it seems like we're going into end game stuff here. I don't know if this is actual end game, but uh, at the very least, we may not get another opportunity for some to for something like this, or may not get another opportunity to get what to use whatever gift we're about to receive here. If it wants to give me something, what am I getting? I'm getting a bunch of monoclines and a gift. Oh, I thought I thought I was kind of hoping there might be a skill associated with it. Done. Well, then I guess it's not such a big deal. Well, it's nice, I guess. I was really thinking that I was going to get another gift out of it, though. Uh, another skill out of it. Oh well. What's done is done and cannot be undone. In this episode, we are heading into Monokuma Rock, and at the very least, we're going to go ahead and s just start the trial a little bit. I don't know how far we're necessarily going to get, but I think there's going to be a couple of pretty big bombs to drop in this one. I, I'm starting to think that, it, that we're going to have to figure out who the traitor is, just based on the, some of the information we found out during the course of the investigation. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Uh, is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Stop it. You're making me depressed. You're making me depressed! So, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict, where we must doubt our friends. Uh, but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? Uh, that Mount Akuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is a last class trial. But would have been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know. That's why I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial, I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what, even if I have to pull out all the stops. Well, we'll see what happens. You, I'm, I'm sorry, Kaz. I love you. You're a bro. But you're also kind of an idiot. What the fuck? What are you here? What's going on? You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island. Thinking that, thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? There's no way. Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. Ah, uh, stop trying to jinx us. Damn right, stupid rabbits should just shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Um, this is new. Huh? I finally realized, after losing my powers, I've realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small. But as long as there's a possibility, you must face it, in order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. What do you mean you will fight? What's her deal? I, I do not really know, but she seems different from before. Maybe she read a, maybe she read a self-help book. But her eyes, she looked so determined. Ah, what can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Anyway. Make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if you start talking during the trial. Ah, fine. Uh, somehow, I understand what Monami is saying. I think. Anyway, let's get going. To the last class trial. Uh, you're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. This is... This is getting to be a really hard one. Like, uh, like emotionally, this, I, I, they nailed, they nailed um, just the whole atmosphere of this chapter pretty well. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. 
Did it just burp? It almost sounded like it burped to me. Wow. And that's it. Just six people left. This elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Uh, let's worry about things after we're finished. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. At least we have kind of our emotions to check, check enough to actually hold a conversation instead of standing in stunned and disbelief in, in the utter silence. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We must fight. And then, the door slowly opened, this bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Ah, he brought in the ambience of Island 5 in with him, huh? Well then, now that that chatterbox of Nikito is gone, there are only six of you left! Enough, just fucking start this already. Hey, this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep. Sure is. So, you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you're giving it your all. Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. And you're... You've changed suddenly, drastically, and strangely enough. Now then, let's get this trial started. This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Kameda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. And then he went bat shit crazy. But his true nature held such a demented thought process that he was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. <sighs> I was really hoping we were done with all that vocabulary. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us, too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... Wow. Most of the people left are just on this panel alone. There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by... He... We will be consumed by despair. Poor Chiaki's all alone. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billow billowing with hope and despair the last one has begun. We'll do that later. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set whatever skills we have. Do I, I may have to buy more. I may ha actually have the opportunity to buy more. Um, we'll go ahead and just fill up on Silver Spoon and uh, Handiwork or whatever. Yes, yeah, Handiwork, because those are the ones that I got from completing... Uh, Fuyuhiko's and Kazuichi's arcs. There's a lot left over. We'll s I mean, we'll see if there's any skills to be purchased, but I'm not sure that they're really... Oops. Wrong one. Um, report card. That's the one I was looking for. I do have six. 
Um, shoot. Okay, uh, give me a second. I'll look through things and see if, uh, w what I might want to get. I am back, and it came down to, for me, at least, it came down to a few choices. Delusion, which increased, which the, it, which my health would recover over time during any, any time I used, uh, my focus gauge during a, uh, during several different minigame modes. Vocabulary, which just increased my bolt capacity during panic talk action. Or mood maker, which uh, increased the effectiveness of successful slashes during uh, rebuttal showdowns. I think what I'm going to go with is I think I'm going to go with mood maker. Because as nice as delusion might be, I don't, I don't know how... I think I can get by without it, especially since I've got Silver Spoon working in my advantage now, and, I, and since I've got Handy Work, that kind of works my advantage. It works to my advantage and helps along without necessarily needing vocabulary. Moodmaker is really the only one that doesn't have any real significant benefit. It's, I, I, I could also go with Fine Sword, but after that. After that one rebuttal show down in what was it like chapter two, I feel th I found that we it seems like we have enough slashes anymore, and that's effectively what this skill would do is give me more slashes. So we'll go with we'll go with Moonmaker. I think I, I think that's probably one of the skills that would be most helpful for me. So let me go ahead and find that in my list, and we'll add it on. I actually almost got my uh, skill points figured out too. So, that mostly leaves at this point a quick run through of the truth bullets. Uh, granted, it may not necessarily. It's probably not a bad idea to do so. Nagito was the victim. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma factory. He was killed at around noon sharp. He was stabbed. Stabbed. Uh, sorry. He was impaled. He was impaled in the stomach with a spear, stabbed on his thighs, and slashed on his left arm, and it had a and had his right hand impaled with the knife. Now, one thing I do notice is it doesn't specifically state what the killing blow was. It also doesn't say this all this particular one this particular bullet truth this. This particular truth bullet also doesn't state whether there was any sort of contaminants or poison detected. Sometimes they mention it specifically, some other times they don't. It's hard to say one way or the other on that one, but one thing that does catch my interest is it doesn't explicitly say what the cause of death was. So both, of, so we got the torture wounds where both of his legs were tied with rope. Each rope was tied to nearby pillars, which prevented him from moving. His thighs were also covered with stab wounds. Burned rope. The rope that was tied to Nagito's right arm had burned off. However, Nagito's right sleeve still looked clean. Which is kind of an interesting separation. I'm not sure what that means. The survival knife that was stabbed into Nagito's right hand the knife is from the military base. It's safe to assume that the wounds on Nagito's legs and left arm were caused by the knife. Blood on the left hand was splattered on the palm, but for some reason the splatter cuts off in the middle of his palm, and also the back of his left hand has unnatural blood stain above only the middle joints of his fingers. And that's the half that I don't get. If if um, it stops up halfway up his palm, it seems it stands to reason maybe he was holding something or had his fist clenched. That's that's one of the things that I'm thinking, but I'm not sure about the second half. The duct tape. Uh, his mouth was covered with duct tape. However, the blood spat splattered on his face was not under the duct tape. The tape itself had a lot of crinkles in it, as if Nagito was desperately moving his mouth underneath it. So, if we're going back to torture for information, this kind of contradicts that, because why would you duct tape someone's mouth if you're trying to get information out of them? The spear of Gunyir, the spear imper impaled through Nagito's stomach, a cord with an iron weight at the end of it extends from the back of the handle. For some reason, only the section where the cord and weight touch is bloody. 
for some okay, so, uh, for some reason only the section where the cord and weight touch is blood. Yeah, that's okay. It's not the weight itself, but it's the interface between the cord and the weight. Got it. The life-size Monokuma plushie that was found on the floor near the file's origin point. A huge hole, blood, a huge bloody hole in its stomach, as if it was stabbed. A faint red line on the ceiling girder inside the goods warehouse. And this is what kind of caused me to believe that there was some sort of uh, pulley mechanism with the spear and the cord. A lot of tipped-over Monokuma panels were scattered around the goods warehouse. In one area, the panels seemed to be laying on top of each other in a straight, orderly line. The oil lantern found at the fire's origin point looks like this is what caused the fire. The MP3 player that comes that comes with speakers. The music that was blaring throughout the warehouse when Hajime and the others arrived was coming from this. Sony's account secretly used one of the bombs from the military base at the ancient ruins and found that the bombs were fake. At the time, Onomi was apparently peeking at the whole time. In Monokuma's account, Monokuma knew all along the bombs were fake. However, he par he apparently never revealed that fact to anyone. The notebook that Monomi updated every day, or did she? According to Monokuma, Monomi cannot write. Gas mask and gloves were hidden under Nagito's cottage in his bed. That's kind of a weak trick bullet. They must have been running out of time. I'm not sure. A piece of blue paper found under found at Nagito's cottage under his bed is a round, thin piece of aluminum paper. Nagito's special poison. Monokuma's special poison, poison found inside the refrigerator at Nagito's cottage. The warning label on the back of the bottle states that this enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, meaning it, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air, it breaks down in minutes, and is susceptible to hydrolysis, which is the... which if I... if I know correctly, is the act of combining with water to become inert. So it, is so it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. That's another thing that I didn't pick up on right away, but uh, I pick up on it now. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Then we got Hope's Peak Academy file. The file contains Hope's Peak Academy student profiles for all 16 students participating in a school trip. Due to the fact that Monokuma forged the traitor's profile, looking at this won't help identify who the traitor is. And that is it. So, um, I hate to say it, but given where we on, given where we are on time, I think I'm good. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna end it off here. In the next episode, we will start the trial proper. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.